So today we're going to be talking about how you can grow your email list using Instagram, using no paid ads, nothing. So here's three ways you're going to be able to grow your email list using Instagram, and it's all going to be containing using stories. If you're not using stories, then you should really be using stories. Um, the only reason is because think about it. Where do most of the conversations stem from? Is if you post a story and someone responds to it and it goes into DMs. What happens when you're in direct messages? You're conversating. Think if you're posting just feed posts and you get some comments, right? It's only going to go maybe one or two one or two comments back and forth in sequence. Whereas in DMs, that can start into a whole conversation where next thing you know, you're talking about, hey, you remember this 10 years ago back in the day? If you knew the person, right? Um, there's going to be some random stuff happening in there, right? And it's better because then that's what's building relationships is those conversations. It's the easiest way to grow your email list. And if you're not doing it, you should be. And uh, by the way, number two on this list is 100% the best reason to do, and you should start doing it tomorrow. So the first one is going to be using the question sticker. And honestly, a simple example you can use is, let's say you have a new listing. Um, actually, you know what? Let's not use real estate. Let's use a community video. So let's say holidays are coming up, right? And you want to show people where the best places are to go see Christmas lights this year. Let's just say you say, um, do you like going to see Christmas lights with your family, your kids, you know, your your significant other, whatever. Just say, uh, here are the five best places in Orange County or whatever city you reside in to go see Christmas lights. Enter your email below and I'll send it directly to your inbox. And people are going to be interested in that. Who doesn't want to go see Christmas lights? Whether it's with their family, their kids, you know, a significant other, whatever. I mean... I'm not into it, but if I saw that, I'd be like, yeah, I probably want to just see, just to see what's up, you know, because then you know that info, you could tell it to your friends, you could tell it to your parents, you could tell it to, you know, your siblings, whatever, right? So, um, yeah, doing that with the question sticker is going to be an easy one, right? Um, and you'll be surprised, people will, die, will type in their email address. The second one, my favorite, is literally replying X to get Y. So let's say we're using the same example. If you want to know where the five best places are to see Christmas lights in Orange County or wherever city you reside from, uh, reply lights and I'll send it directly to your DMs. And I know what you're probably thinking is, hey, it's not getting my email. But what it is doing is it is literally putting you in a position of goodwill. It's positioning you as giving value first before asking for things first. So this is really, really important because by giving away value first and then and then asking them for the email, it's it's going to lower their shield, you know, it's, especially if you're doing it in a non-salesy way. So here's an example, right? Say a person comments lights on your email, on, on your story, and you send them that asset, whether it's uh, a video um, or a PDF download, whatever, right? Um, you can ask them directly after that, right? Be like, hey, like, you know, uh, thank you, whether they respond or not. And they say, you know, um, I do content like this about two to four times a month. Uh, if would you mind me getting your email so I could show you more updates? And it's all going to be centered around the community with developments, entertainment, um, community events, holiday events, whatever, right? And all you're going to say is, hey, I do content like this two to four times a month all around the community, all around interest, developments, and then I'll sprinkle in some real estate content. You're not getting spammed, um, but I could send you even more uh, thing going on inside the community if I could get your email. Or when you do send that DM, that DM is going to take them to a landing page. And from that landing page, they're going to add in their info to get that thing you're trying to send. So it's one of two ways you could do it, right? And then same thing with like, if you don't want to just go that create mode where it's just saying, put a plain background on and saying, hey, do you want to use these video? Do you want to, um, do you want to see the best places to see Christmas lights in your city? Or it can be a snippet, grab a snippet of that video, the best snippet you could find where it's going to grab their attention, an exciting one, whether it's, you know, um, talking about lights, talking about something like attentive, right? Put that snippet in there and be like, if you want to see the rest of them, um, reply with lights and I'll send it directly to your DM. They're going to do that. You send it to their DM. Whether you want to give them that info or not right away is your call. You can test it. But if you're sending it to them as a full video and then you're going to ask for them in that conversation, in that DM thread saying, hey, 
Do you mind if I get your email? I, I do content like this every month, you know, two to four times a month uh, where we go over things happening in the community, whether it's events, developments, new restaurants, restaurants to eat at, brunch spots, uh, you know, you name it, events, holiday events, whatever, right? Or if you don't want to do that and you want to take the approach of you send them a DM, that DM of that thing you're sending takes them to a landing page to see the full video or to download the PDF, whatever, then you can build your email that way. And then the last one is going to be using a link. Duh, right? Who hasn't Who hasn't used this? You know, before it was some coveted thing where you needed 10,000 followers. Now it's just something everyone gets. Um, but you could test this in two ways. You know, and it's the same kind of concept what we were doing with above, right? You can create a create slide, pure back, black background. Um, and you can say, if you want to see the full video on XYZ, you know, if you want to see the full video on Christmas lights, or if you want to see the full list of the Christmas lights, you know, click this link below and we'll send it straight to you. Or you could do the video one where it's like you're grabbing a snippet of that video and then you ask the link, right? The way I like to do it is you're sending that video up, just a plain video, right? Of that, it looks like a regular piece of content. And then after that story, they're going to see there's another one at the top. Then you go into create mode and then you type in, hey, by the way, there's four other uh, places in this city where you could go see awesome lights boats, whatever, click this link below and I'll send it directly to you. And boom, that's the last way to do it. So if you like this video, give it a subscribe, give it a like. We're going to be doing a lot more content sending around how to grow your email, how to grow your YouTube, how to grow your Instagram, and uh, how to increase the shelf life of a lot of your content and squeeze in all the juice out of it. So um, a lot of it's going to be sending around that. If you want to know more about how you can do that, how to automate your business with video, um, how to reduce client to to client to customer interaction time by automating these videos putting systems around them like and subscribe we're going to be doing a lot more content and if you want to subscribe to our newsletter hit that link below um, you will not regret it you will not get spammed and all the content will be value centered